I have discovered a truly marvelous proof of this. However, the margin is not large enough to contain. For Matt was referring to his last and most famous theorem. This seemingly simple formula would astonish mathematicians for 300 years after Fermat's death. The theorem states, no three positive integers x, y, and z can satisfy the equation for n greater than 2. Fermat left no evidence of actually proving his theorem, just a simple note in the margin of a book called Arithmetica. Pierre Fermat was a French lawyer and an amateur mathematician. However, he is responsible for many of the early developments that led to modern calculus. Surprisingly, Fermat published only one mathematical paper in his life. It is surprising because Fermat is possibly the most famous number theorist in mathematical history. Over the next 200 years following Fermat's death in 1665, mathematicians struggled to find ways to prove parts of the theorem. n equal to 2 was already known thanks to Pythagoras and his theorem. n equal to 3, 4, 5, and 7 were proved during the 19th century, but still not for all positive integers. Finally, in 1993, the final proof for all n was discovered. Building on information provided by such mathematicians as Gerhard Frey and Ken Ribbett, and using almost every piece of advanced mathematics there is, Andrew Wiles delivered a perfect proof of Fermat's last theorem.